There's an elementary school just across the street from this neighborhood behind these homes. It's really quiet out here, but on Friday around midnight, it was total chaos. I spoke with some neighbors who live on this street. None would go on camera and all seemed really unnerved. Somebody calling in saying that her friend had been stabbed and was dying. Our officers racing to get out there. They got there in under four minutes and they get on scene. It's chaotic. It all started with a 911 call. When officers arrive at this house, they find 17 year old Mateo Alexander stabbed inside. First responders try to save him, but he dies. Outside, the scene was also wild. Including another 17 year old male out in the front of the house who had been badly beaten. People said they saw him getting assaulted by multiple people and this person was unconscious. And just a couple blocks away they find a third 17 year old stabbed. Crews also rushed that teen to the hospital. A very obviously some sort of like a, a house party that had gone awry. Officers say they believe 60 people were at the party. I spoke with a neighbor who says her family heard screaming, looked out the window and saw five to ten men jump over the wall of the backyard. Violent crime is up in Chula Vista, so I asked Sergeant Molina if there's more violence among teenagers. It feels that way, right? We can we can look. We're hearing about these other incidents going on around other cities near us in our own city. So it's something that we're looking at. Just two weeks ago, I covered the murders of an 18-year-old man and 16-year-old girl shot and killed outside a house party in National City. Sergeant Molina says parents need to talk with their kids. Have something in place ahead of time so that uh, when your kids are somewhere that unfortunately starts to turn sideways. They have a plan. They have a way to get out of there. Back in Chula Vista, the homeowner that threw the party is cooperating with police. Neighbors say she sold her house and is supposed to move any day. As for detectives looking for Mateo Alexander's murderer, they hope people from the party will come forward. There's a thousand dollar reward for information and you can stay anonymous. In Chula Vista, this is Anna Laurel for CBS 8.